everybody, it's Kathy Heath. Welcome to my kitchen. Here is the long-awaited video. That, um, you've all been asking me about my egg coddlers, and so I'm not only going to show them to you, I'm also going to show you how to use them. They're over here. My, some of my favorites are over here on the counter. I'm pointing over to the counter. <laughs> I can pick that up. Um, and I just kind of wanted to to show you some of the different patterns. Now, I do have little labels that I keep on them so that I can remember the pattern name. This one is called Lavinia, and it's a series of blackberries all around the coddler. These are all Royal Wooster coddlers, by the way. This one um, is called Woodland. It's, it's really one of my favorites. I love the, the delicate colors in these flowers. This one is called Astley and it's pretty stylized and it shows the Asian influence that Royal Wooster was using in their designs um, in, in times past. Now I do also have some big ones in my favorites collection back here. Um, these are supposedly the two egg size. Um, this one is called Bournemouth and it's just got the cabbage roses and the other uh, wildflowers next to it with a single rose on the back. And this other one, let me get it, this is not a Royal Wooster egg coddler, but this this particular pair happens to be in my favorites collection because it was a gift from someone who knew that I collected egg coddlers and they just wanted to surprise me. So these are very, very, very special to me as well. Okay, well, let's show you how to coddle an egg. I'm going to use one from each pattern uh, because these are the ones that don't have the labels on them and come over here to the counter. The lids screw on and off. The first step is a little messy. So I'm going to roll up my sleeves and I've already washed my hands. Get a little bit of butter or margarine, whatever you use in your house, and just very lightly butter the inside of your egg coddler. Alright then, with both of your coddlers lightly buttered, you're going to want to crack your egg very carefully. You don't want to break the yolk. And let it just fall right in there. And egg number two. Okay. That's the basics. Now here comes the creative part. You can put in the egg coddler with the egg whatever you like. Um, salt, pepper, little teeny bits of crumpled bacon, maybe some chives. Um, however you want to flavor your eggs is just fine. Or you can be a purist and just cook them as is and season them when you get them out. I like salt and pepper. So I'm going to put in a little salt, a little pepper, and screw the lids back on. Don't use the ring to turn your lids um, or you could possibly break them. So always screw them at the side. Okay. I have a pan of water waiting for me on the stove. My water is up to the level that I want it and I'm just going to put the egg coddlers in the water. You don't want to cover the egg coddlers, just up to the neck here is fine. And 
I'm going to bring these to a boil and I'll see you back here in about oh five minutes because that's how I like my coddled eggs. Okay, time's up. Just get them out of the water. And this really isn't very hot, the lid, so you can just unscrew it. And egg number two. Now you can leave them in the coddler and they'll stay nice and warm or you can scoop them out onto a piece of toast. Either way, your egg is ready to eat and yum. See you next time.